and a very good evening to all my viewers. It's Saturday, February 18th, 2023. It's right now 11.48 p.m. and we are here on the Maisonneuf Boulevard. There's the new entrance to McGill Metro Station, which will be opening soon. One of the new entrances. And there's gonna be some new elevators as part of that. And for now, we're just gonna go for a little Metro ride on the green line. And here is the regular entrance to Miguel Metro Station. And we're going to see the construction inside of that new entrance. So we'll go in. And this is, of course, on the green line of the Montreal Metro. Miguel. And this here is a famous escalator for us transit fans because this escalator is the shortest escalator in the Montreal Metro system. Look at that, that's one short escalator. And ironically, there's another very short escalator, not related to the Metro, but at the bay. And we can't see it because the bay is closed, but connects one of the malls to the bay inside. All right, so we'll see how our new entrance is coming. There's the Eaton Center through those doors and all the construction's happening behind this wall. And if you look through here, there may or may not be an opening still, but there was at least last time I was here yet, yeah, there it is right there. If you look through here, you're gonna see where we just were looking at from outside across the street. So still quite a bit of work to go. You can see all kinds of tools and equipment and parts. And that elevator there is the one that connects to the Angrion Metro platform. The elevator that's open already is this one, the Honorable Grand one, because it's part of the existing structure. And as you can see, here is the turnstiles. Turnstiles. They haven't put the new ones here yet. And let's go and you know what? We're gonna go check out the, the elevator, the one that's working. This is not an official elevator video. I'm gonna be doing the official elevator video once the other one opens. But we're just going to go check this one out. Well, while we're here, while we're here as well, I know I have a viewer out there that wants to see the inside of the shaft of the elevator and the mechanical structure as well. The elevator is moving. I can't remember his name. He left a comment on my YouTube video. But I'm going to show you here what it looks like. So we'll press the button. And there's the mechanical, probably the motors in, in this thing. has that new tone to it the newer elevator the newer generation of elevators and what i'll do is when i get downstairs i'll send it back up and i'll show you what it looks like going up the shaft because i do have a viewer that likes the mechanical parts send her back up You'll see the shaft and you'll see the bottom of the shaft as well and then uh, we'll see which train we're going to take which metro train we're going to take i hear one coming now so there it's going up there's the bottom of the shaft there's a mechanical part right there there's a wheelie i'm going to press the button i'm going to call it back down and we're going to get back on Wait for it to come back. Press the button. Yeah, we pressed it. There's the wheelie. So there's the train on the opposite side. Looks like it's a Zur set, set 34. So we'll do one more ride on the elevator and we'll come back down. And we'll 
film out this window here. So you can see there's the weights, there's the pulley. Now we'll go back down again. Niveau M1, the ascenseur sorti au correspondant en grignon. Looks like a light behind there. Alright, so we'll go back down. And again, I'll show you the pulley. And we'll stay on this side of the tracks. There's the pulley. So there you go. Hopefully uh, you like that. Whoever asks for the mechanical structures. Mechanisms. Mechanical mechanisms. And there's your uh, platform. So here we are. We're on the Honorable Grand Platform. Which means that we are facing, this way we'd be facing east. This way we'd be facing west towards Peel. And in fact, look, you can see Peel Metro. See Peel down there? It's right in the distance. There's the Azure, uh, Azure train we just saw a moment ago. So we'll walk the platform a bit, see when our next train's coming. Maybe what I'll do is I'll, I'll take the train to Barry, maybe switch to the orange line. I am trying to get my steps in for today, 10,000 steps, even though there's uh, about six minutes left in the day. So this video is actually gonna go into tomorrow. It's gonna go into the next day. Technically, because midnight is five, six minutes away, which will be Sunday. Here. And uh, I was just with fellow YouTuber Chunky Potato. He goes by transit enthusiast. Here's uh, yeah, two minutes until our train. So yeah, definitely trying to fill the content coffers up, trying to fill the, the content tanks, if you want to call it, content vaults. It's always good to have content on standby. Here's one of my favorite art pieces in the Montreal Metro, depicting the history of our great city. Very beautiful. Yep. Back in the 90s, there was a very cool feature at this station. It was a analog, uh, analog air quality reader you, you'd look up and there was like a little square of uh, electronic square and told you what the air quality was at the city inside the city very cool feature I think it was around here somewhere I'll try to find a picture and share it some somehow eventually so uh, yeah I was restored more recently this artwork uh, it's going to be an Azure train. Azure set 61. So I did a compilation video uh, with some fellow YouTubers recently. Um, it was with Will, uh, Will Peroxide Will, Lost in Transit. Uh, Chow. Luca and Chunky Potato as well, the one I just saw tonight, and uh, I added some music to my compilation video when I edited it. I wanted to make it a little bit interesting. The only problem is the music was a little too loud for the video, and because of that, I learned, you know what, this time, next time I do a video like that, make sure... Uh, you know, the music level is not too high because, you know, in the video there was some talking going on and a little bit of chatter, not much. But you weren't able to hear it that well because of the fact that the music was too loud. So when I put the music clip in the video, it was, uh, the music was too high, so I can easily fix that. Bass guy, Jack, taught me how to do that. Uh, using my editor, he uses the same one, you cut. Uh, yeah, he just simply explained to me. What we'll do is we'll get off here and then we'll take the metro going back. Maybe get an MR73. But yeah, Jack mentioned to me, you know, just when you're filming videos and you want to put music in, make sure, first of all, the music fits the video, the theme of the video. And make sure you can actually hear speaking going on.
Well, it's important to understand, you know, I've had my channel now since December of 2015. And throughout that whole time, I've been simply using my phone to do videos. In the very beginning, I didn't even have editing software. I would break, say I, I did a Metro video, and for some reason the Metro video, let's say the Metro video somehow got uh, disrupted. Okay, I would have to basically post it as separate videos before it got disrupted and then after it got disrupted. So it would be two clips. It would be one video that I intended to film, but it would be two clips. And I didn't have the editing software I do now where I can put the two clips together into one video. So it's important to understand, you know, that, uh, you know, I would have to do separate videos and I didn't have the editing software I have now. So it used to be a lot simpler and it was only recently that I started adding music to some of my videos and whatnot. And it's not something I do often by the way, it's just once in a while and I thought the music went pretty well with it. I did get overall good reviews, but from what I did hear, um, some you know people said it was a bit too loud the music and they couldn't hear the talking in the video. So you know constructive criticism is really a good thing. Another thing, uh, you know, there was one or two comments that I found to be a little bit rude, you know, saying that this is not what they signed up for. Uh, look, man, I, I do my best and I experiment and you know what? It's my channel, right? So can't please everybody. But anyways, just wanted to point that out. So if I do put music in a video again, I'll probably have the volume of the actual music lower. Just wanted to point that out um, for next time. Sounds like another Azure coming. I was hoping to get an MR73 tonight, but it is what it is. So it is now midnight, it's exactly 12 a.m. and it's Sunday, February 19th, 2023. And this time next weekend, the Metro will be open all night long. The Metro will be open all night long. So from Saturday into Sunday, it's going to be the 25th into the 26th. All night long, the Metro will be open. I'm going to be here. I know TechNet990, fellow transit fan, Gab, he's going to be here, hopefully. See who else comes along. Be a good chance to film uh, late night, all night transit Metro rides. And they, do, they used to do that as well at New Year's, New Year's Eve. They didn't do it this year for some reason. Alright, so here we are. Another train coming. Well, we'll take this all the way. Uh, let's say uh, we'll take it to... Maybe we'll take it to Angron. Who knows? Or we'll take it to Leonor Grove. You know what? Whatever. We'll decide when when we want to get off, we'll get off, right? There's Azure Set 68, one of the newer Azure Sets. There's Azure Set 71 being the oldest. Uh, sorry, Azure Set 71 being the newest, Azure Set 1 being the oldest. And, uh, you know, as I always say, for the MR73s, the reason I'm trying to get Get videos of those as you guys well. Who knows how long they're going to be around for? People ask me, how do you know what set it is for the user? I'll repeat it. You look at your 10, and it's the first two digits after your 10. So in this case, it's 68. So here we are, back to where we started our video, Miguel. And uh, there's that art. Yeah, so that air quality reader was, I think, right up here. Now we're gonna be passing through Peel. And then Geek Concordia. And then, uh, yeah, Atwater, Lino Grew. I'll probably get off at Lino Grew. It's Saturday night, which means the Metro is open till about 1 a.m. Eastern. So we have another hour of Metro, Metro time if we wanted to. 
I'm gonna go down the train a bit. It's a little noisy here. Now, one thing that was mentioned recently, people were asking, why don't they keep the metro open on all, all 24 hours every night? Oh, it's an issue of maintenance. And the STM explained, basically, you have your one truck, one set of trucks. In New York and other cities, well, guess what? You have other sets of trucks you can use as a detour, so you can close, you know, one set one night and open another set later on and rotate, keep the, keep the service running 24 hours a day. We can't do that here because, like I said, we only have one set of trucks. All right, so I'm trying to focus here, show you our truck system here. Yeah, there we go. Peel Metro Station. They call it the Station of Circles. Well, some of us in the transit community, because if you look at the tiles, you look at the flooring, it's predominantly circles. And fellow YouTuber, Chow, calls one of the entrances the hallway of circles, which I think is epic, it's great. Alright, coming up now to Geek Concordia. Technically, this is where I met Chunky before, we went to get some chicken at a really good place down the street, and uh, I recommend it, highly recommend it. Can't remember the name of it or the street, but <laughs> it's right near the subway up Guy, Guy Street, north of Guy Concordia Metro. Or Guy Concordia in that case, if you want to pronounce it the French way. What sets this? Can't see going too fast. Earlier tonight, I was taking the one, I think it was, uh, was it the 130 bus, 131 bus to Dalson from Terminus Centreville, downtown bus terminus. It was on a mini bus. It was Route 131. Now filming some metro action. And because this video is going long, I'm probably going to turn it into a premiere. 99% certain I'll turn this into a premiere. Keep an eye out. Yeah, there's that entrance shaft. That shaft that's actually attached to a house. So it used to be a house. From the outside, it looks like a house. It looks like a building still. Regular architecture of a building. But it's a metro vent. It's a, a metro vent they embedded into the design of the building. A very cool feature. Preserve the original structure. That's a good thing. You want that, you know? Atwater. Atwater. The former... Former terminus station on the... The green line, easternmost station. Before, you know, when they first started, when they first built the metro, this is where the service would terminate in the eastern end, the eastern portion. If you look down the tunnel towards Angrion, you actually see the old tunnel up top. You can't see it from here, but you can see it from the platform. It's basically right up there. And if you notice, we are going downhill. I've mentioned this before. Right now, we're going towards Lino Gru and Charlevoix, which is pretty much south of us, south of Atwater. But we're actually moving right now in the west direction, and then we're going to curve along this is all while we're going downhill, we're going to be going west and then curve around and then slowly head east again and then south. And then go west again. So it's like a horseshoe shape between Atwater and Lino Gru Metro. It's a big curve it goes through West Mountain. So when we leave Atwater Metro Station, we're moving in the west direction. And then, 
we're going east and then eventually we're going to go south towards Charlevoix and then slowly deviates west again towards uh, Angrion Metro Station in the south. So very cool design. Do we want to get off here or do we want to stay on? That's the question. Hmm. Tell you what, we will get off. Try to diversify my video a bit here. Even though it has been a pretty good night for content, I'm not going to complain. But uh, sometimes it's fun to do this. These sporadic videos. Where you don't really have a plan of where you're going. You just end up wherever. <laughs> We let uh, the universe take its course. Yeah, so what we'll probably do is I'll go to the orange line. Maybe take the orange line a couple of stops. Maybe we'll, I'm not sure where, but we'll see. coming in one minute so I'll see how it is at this end of the train if it's not too rowdy set 48 and I don't mind filming while I'm standing up as well it doesn't bother me We'll get on, we'll take it a few stops, maybe Vendôme, maybe Villa Maria, who knows. Just uh, enjoying the night, vibing. Alright, so now we're on the orange line, which means we're going to be going in the west direction towards Cote for 2. And like I said, we'll, I'll decide when I want to get off, I'll get off. There's the green line we were just on moments ago. So it's important to remember, like I said, the metro is open later on Saturdays, but the service is very slow. It's about every 10, 11 minutes per, in between trains. And if you are watching this premiere right now, or you're watching the rerun of my premiere, well, definitely feel free to leave some comments, questions. I always respond. And here, of course, is where this new entrance is being built. This universal accessibility this should be done by the end of the year. It's going to be a very cool entranceway, beautiful elevators, something that's been in the works for a while. So I think what we'll do is we'll take this, maybe get off at Villa Maria. Oh, you know what? We'll actually take this to Snowden. We'll get on. We'll get some blue line, blue line action. We'll be doing three lines of metro service because, uh, well, battery looks okay, storage looks okay. So at least take this to the blue line and maybe go one station on the blue line. Maybe do uh, Cote d'Azur or something and then wrap it up. And when I say my battery is okay, I mean I do have 18% left, but I do have my power bank with me. And even if we get one station on the blue line, better than nothing is what I say. There's that famous wall in between the two, block, two sides. Probably a reinforcement wall. 
a lot of fellow YouTubers and transit fans said, you know what, it's probably probably the ground above above here is not that strong. So they have to put that reinforcement in. Which would make perfect sense, you know, it's logical. Station If I am rambling, well it's because uh, like I said in a previous video, you know. If you do live in Montreal or you take the public transit in Montreal, you're familiar with all these little things. But if you're an international viewer or other parts of the country watching this, well, you know that there's little details that uh, are special to each city. Hence why I do give details in my videos. Even if it's repetitive. So we got two more stops to go and we'll be getting off at Snowden. Prochaine station. Villa Maria. There's uh, one of the newer entrances in the system. So what I am aiming for is I am aiming for 45 minutes in this video. 45 minutes I think would be great for a premiere. I'm going to tell you, sometimes the hardest part of a video is actually deciding the title of it. Because for YouTube, you only have, well, it seems like a lot, a hundred characters to put in your title. You can't go over a hundred characters. So that includes spaces, emojis, but uh, it does fill up fast because your title, of course, is the most eye-catching part of your video, right? When you're, people are browsing through videos, you want to get their attention. So you got to make sure you put the right wording in, but you also want to be... You know, you don't, don't want to give too much away about your video, so it's, it's always a challenge sometimes. Not always, but sometimes. Coming up with a title. Alright, so here we are. This is Villa Maria. And the next stop will be Snowden. And we're going to go to the blue line. And that's going to mean this video is going to cover all, cover basically three lines. We have the green line, orange line, and then the blue line. All right, here we are. Station Villa Maria. Villa Maria, of course, is another station that recently got elevators. You could see over there some beautiful artwork as well. And I think they still have some work to do here. As you can see, they're still. Looks like those lights. I don't think those lights are permanent. They're not uh, not really nice if they are. Could be wrong. Uh, those are not permanent. Construction lights. Speaking of lights, well, it's pretty dark in this section of the station. There's your time, it's 12, 11 a.m. Russian station, Snowden. Keep an, eye. Keep an eye out this window. You're going to see the tunnel that leads to the blue line. It's going to be coming up momentarily. And then you'll see the trucks section of track split here it comes and this is the way the trains go back and forth between the orange line and the blue line at least one of the ways there's a switch and there's a tunnel right there yeah that goes right to the blue line Now it's time to go on some uh, MR73s, or at least one MR73. Tell you what. Station Snowden. Depending on how much, depending on how much battery we have, maybe we'll uh, maybe we'll go to Iberville, which is a a fan favorite amongst transit fans. But first, we'll get a view of our train departing, set 48, and we'll switch to the blue, and I'll plug my power bank in here momentarily. The last thing you want to do is be filming a video and the battery dies out. Another favorite work of art of mine. Is this mural here? This is uh, the Four Seasons because there's four platforms, two platforms each line, two lines, so there's four platforms, and each platform 
represents one season, one of the four seasons. Very intelligent idea. Very cool idea. Whoever designed the station, or at least the art concept of it. All right, let's go down and uh, board an MR-73. Another thing that's a fan favorite, including yours truly. A lot of folks out there like the older stuff. A lot of fans out there love the MR-63s, the MR-90s. It's really cool to see that, you know, it's an appreciation. So here's my power bank, if you're wondering. This is an anchor. Thanks to Gab, TechNet990. He's the one that suggested this. I put a little scratch here, so if I ever mix it up with someone, I'll know it's mine. So we should be good to go. Oh, we got a defective door, look at this. Defective door, very rare. Well, not that rare, but it's always fun to film train rides with defective doors. Makes for interesting videos, so that's what we're gonna do. Actually gonna get on this train with the defective door. And uh, we'll go a couple of stops. And uh, should make for bonus content, as I like to call it. Like I said, we'll probably take this, uh, I was aiming for Eberville, but we'll see. Actually, my mistake, it's Acadie. Acadie Station, that's a favorite amongst fans. Eberville too, but so is Acadie. Maybe we'll get off at Acadie. She's only four stops away from here. Switch spots. Got a light out as well here. Maybe we'll film through this little window here. This is also an interesting view. Another fan favorite.
the REM, the REM line will be connected to the Dumont Tang line. Will be connected to this train station at this stop. So after this, we'll I guess I'd get off at uh, Akiti. off at Akadi and then I'm gonna we'll go upstairs go outside I'm gonna cool off for a bit and I'll uh, call it a video So stay tuned. First, we'll get a nice view of this metro going by. We got two of them. We got another one over there on the other platform. Notice it's not perfectly aligned. Upstairs, guys, and check out uh, the architecture. And you'll see beautiful work of art up here. It's a clock, it resembles a clock, if I remember. Yeah, right here. Beautiful, beautiful work of art. And there's a convenience store here that looks like it's closed now. Even, even up there is beautiful, you know, the, the grill. Yeah, there's a clock. It's not really a clock, but it looks like clock hands here, and there's a little thing there as well. I wonder if uh, eventually they're going to have elevators at this metro station. Hey, I've never noticed this before, this art. Interesting. I, I don't know if it's new, or I just never noticed. I don't take this station often, but it's beautiful. Hey, 
Hey, I don't, I'm gonna be completely honest. I just wanna see something here. I'm gonna be honest, I don't think, this is so rare. I thought that there was a, an entrance there. I thought I've covered every metro station entrance, every tunnel, every, I guess you could say exit, entrance way, and every metro station. But I do not have a memory of ever being in this specific hallway that I'm in right now. This to me feels like the first time I've ever been here. It could be that I've always, whenever I came here, I took the other exit. And what is this? Campus Mill, M-I-L. I will tell you right now, I do not have any memory of ever taking this entranceway. Doesn't mean I haven't. I probably, there's a chance I may have, I just don't remember. But uh, yeah. Hmm. That looks interesting. That's oh, this is the uh, the new path they built that goes over the train tracks. All right. Well, anyway, I'm gonna wrap the video, guys. That was a really interesting video, to say the least. And uh, if you like what you saw, remember hit subscribe, hit like, turn on notification bell, and as always, more videos to come. And uh, if you join me in my premier, thank you. Yeah, because look at this. There's the entrance I usually take. So that's probably why. All right. Have a good night, everybody. I might do a little video here. Just see what it's what it's like. See y'all soon.